What's going on guys, Flyby Simulations here and as the title suggests, in today's video we're going to be taking a look at how to fix the exaggerated blur effect under the engines. Now as some of you guys might know, I exclusively almost only fly airliners within this sim, such as the A32NX mod by the Flyby Wire Simulations team, as well as more recently the 787, the Salty Simulations 747, as well as the Aerosoft CRJ. Point being, uh, during these flights I often like to go into the wing view or even the extra external view sometimes during my flights, just to be able to look at my flights from a different angle as well as capture some cinematic content. In fact, some of the cinematic content you're seeing in the background right now happens courtesy of these shots. This actually happens to be one cinematic I recorded quite recently called New Horizons. It's a 2 minute 50 second Microsoft Flight Simulator film I made and if you want to check the full thing out, it's in the top right hand corner of the screen as well as linked down in the description section of the video. Anyways, in its default state, the heat blur emanating from the engines produces a distinctive and exaggerated blur that's unrealistic as you can see in the background. I mean, this almost looks like there's been an engine fire or some sort of emergency. Um, and uh, unfortunately, there is no way to minimize this, but there is a way to completely remove it from the simulator, which makes the sim, in my opinion, as well as in the opinion of some other people who have seen this, it makes the sim look exponentially more realistic. So let's find out how to do that. Let's find out how to actually remove this heat blur effect and start making our simulators look as amazing as Asobo intended the simulator to look in the first place. All right, ladies and gentlemen. So the first step you wanna do is to close your sim. You have to make sure you close the sim when we're making the changes we're about to make so that they actually take effect when we relaunch the sim. So welcome to my desktop. The first thing we're gonna to have to do is to locate our root Microsoft Flight Simulator folder. When you're here, you want to navigate over to Packages, then Official, then Steam. I did purchase my Microsoft Flight Simulator copy from Steam. I will talk about what to do if you don't have Steam in just a second. Then you want to go into FS Base Effects Legacy. Then you want to go into Effects. And finally, you want to find this file named FX underscore Asobo underscore Heat underscore Big dot FX. Now, as I said, I'm on Steam, so my file pathway looks like this. It might be different for you if you actually purchased it directly from the Microsoft Store. In that case, I will leave a little uh, sort of blurb down in the description section to actually guide you to your Microsoft Flight Simulator root folder if you did purchase it from the Microsoft Official Store. In fact, there's an easier way to do all of this. All you have to do is to actually just locate your Microsoft Flight Simulator folder, and then you want to type exactly the following file name fx underscore asobo underscore heat underscore big dot fx just like this once you do this it'll actually take a little bit of time to locate the file and once it does so you can actually right click on it and press show file location and it'll take you directly back to the effects folder we were just looking at don't worry i will actually leave the actual file name itself as a copy paste thing in the description section as well so all you have to do copy it paste it onto that little search bar and it'll make life easier for you now the process itself is actually quite simple. All you have to do is just right click on the file, press rename and change the extension of the file from this .fx extension to .off, basically off. Once you're done with this, feel free to close File Explorer and relaunch the simulator. And there you go guys. So no more unrealistic heat blur emanating from the engines in the simulator anywhere anymore. So I really wish there was a way to actually just minimize the blur because in some situations, especially in tropical countries and hot countries, it adds to the realism to see that little bit of blurriness behind the engines as well as emanating from the APU, for example, um, but only in certain situations. So in its current capacity, it doesn't have the power to actually add to the realism. In fact, it hinders the realism. So maybe adding a slider, that might be a good option for a Sobo to actually look into so that we could actually gain more control over this heat blur effect in the future. Feel free to jump back into one of the passenger seats or even into the external view now and capture those amazing flights and moments we all know and love. Again guys, it does take some effort in finding these little gem fixes and creating these mini tutorials to help enhance your flight simulator experience, so please be sure to like the video and even subscribe to the channel for more tutorials, product reviews, full flights, and cinematics. Also make sure to hit the notification icon so you guys get notified every time I put up a poll, every time there's a new giveaway happening, or every time there's a new video being uploaded because I do upload a lot and I'm planning to up my upload frequency going into 2022 as well. So make sure to hit that notification icon to never miss a video. Also swing by the comment section to let me know if you guys have any questions or just what you thought of the video itself as well as some suggestions for future videos. As usual, thanks for flying by.